Lovely Bliss 137. Welcome to another movie review. So, yeah, today I'm reviewing is actually a trilogy, which I didn't know that before today. So, yeah, it's called this one's called of a very country Christmas. So yeah, this is, the, I just finished watching the first one. So yeah, this one came out, well, Tubi says, it's kind of confusing because I found two different years listed for this movie. Google says it came out in 2017. And then the streaming service says it was 2016. So, yeah, I don't know which one's correct. So, yep, there's that. And there's also, a, there's two different ratings listed. So, it, yeah, if you Google it, it says the movie is PG-13. But the on the surface, it says it's PG. So... Yeah, so I just had to watch it for myself to see which one. It's definitely more typical PG-13. So definitely, I mean, there's not necessarily bad language in it. Although there is a scene where one of the characters, it's a male, is shirtless. So there's that. So yeah, this is definitely more PG-13 than PG. So I don't know why it says PG on Tubi. That, that doesn't really make sense. But let's just get right into it. The categories. So... First of all, watchability, slash entertainment, and would I watch it again? Um, yes, definitely. Though I will say the, the first seven minutes of this movie are kind of boring. So yeah, it starts out a little slow and boring but so favorite scenes I really liked the scene where Zane well he basically kind of scares slash surprises a lady he that is staging his house in this small town because yeah, the, the she doesn't know that it's his house, and yeah, that that's this is actually the scene where he doesn't have a shirt. So just so you're aware, though, going off of that, um, so category number three. Child friendly, I've already covered that. It's definitely PG thirteen. Is it ASD friendly? So as you guys know, if you've been watching these reviews, this is more about the flashing lights, so this would also apply to epileptic type thing. Well, yeah, there's only one scene with the flashing lights and Basically, their house, the girl's house, is getting paparazzied. I'm sorry, I don't know the sign for that. But, yeah, that's the only scene that had any flashing lights. So, yeah, it's good for that. 
Um, next category, holiday vibes. Uh, definitely had those. And other things to note, because there were a lot of scenes in it that made me feel like this movie should have also been included in the comedy category on the streaming service, the Tubi that I was using. So it had it under the categories of romance, holiday, and music. So, yeah. I feel like, because there were some scenes that were kind of silly. I feel like, so... Although, I will say that the scenes where the ornaments are being shattered with the staple gun, yeah, those were a little... After the first scene with that, that's... It just felt like kind of overkill. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go watch the next movie in the series. It's called... The next one is called A Very Country... Wedding, and yeah, I don't know the sign for wedding yet. So, yeah, I need to go look that. I need to go search that so that I'll be able to sign the title. But yeah, that one came out in 2019. So, yep, yeah. and Hopefully it's just as good as the first one. So, see you then. Okay, I'm back. So, yeah. We're just gonna get right into the notes. Um, though I don't really have that many notes about the second movie. A very country <laughs> wedding. So, but yes, I did really like it, and I will say this one, yeah, this is definitely PG. This doesn't really have anything in it. Um, would I watch it again? Yes, probably. For, yeah. Um, entertaining. So so, but it it's good to watch when you just need like a little pick me up. It's sort of a happy movie. So yeah, but also kind of not because like yeah, this one's definitely somewhere on the spectrum of drama. <laughs> category. I, I don't know where it fits, but it's somewhere on there for sure. Favorite scenes. Um, I really liked the scene where um, Jolene was teaching the um, Quinn how to do the flower girl book and yep yeah, there's there's a, a lot of signs that I don't know so just bear with me um so yeah I, I did like I really liked that scene that was just sort of cute and semi comedic ish um child friendly yep <laughs> ASD friendly and yeah no flashing lights so they don't need this one does not need to, well the last one didn't either so this one doesn't need a disclaimer about flashing light sensitivities hoodie vibes no, not really, but I mean, it is a sequel, and there was Christmas was nowhere in the name, so. But since this was part of this, yeah, since this movie was part of that series, I feel like 
to get an accurate review, I had that I needed to watch and review all three movies in the series. So this is just part of it. And yeah, but overall, great movie. And yeah, I'm about to go watch the last one. And yeah, this the last one, actually it came out this year, uh, 2020. Uh, I'm not sure of the exact release date because, well, I just didn't search this one. So, yeah. And I really hope you're liking this review. So, I'm going to go watch a very country Christmas. Homecoming. Yeah, I have to go search that one up. And yeah, so I'll see you after I watch the last movie. Hi, I'm back. So yeah, I just finished watching the movie a bit ago. So it's, yeah, it's called, the last one is called A Very... Three Christmas Homecoming. So yeah, I couldn't find a sign for that word, so I just had to spell it. Um so yep. <laughs> That's that. But I have to say the third movie was my favorite movie in this series. So yeah, that's just a me thing. Uh, I didn't really have any notes on this movie. So yeah, I'm just going to go real quick through the categories because it's just kind of fresh on my mind. So, um, let's see. Would I watch it again? Yep. Definitely. Pretty good watchability. Um, is it is the friendly? Or and or epileptic friendly, yep, and definitely child friendly. Although, I mean, I would say definitely PG for sure. <laughs> yep. Um, holiday vibe. Yep, for sure. Because. So yeah, the last the movie before this took place kind of in the summer ish, and this one it was it showed like their honeymoon and all that good stuff. Yeah. And I th yeah, I think that about covers it though. Oh. I, did, I think I forgot about favorite scenes, but I really just enjoyed the entire movie. So there wasn't a particular scene that I liked in this movie. So that's just a thing to note. And, but yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend. So yeah, now I'm just... I'm gonna get I'm gonna go finish editing, I'm gonna get ready for bed, maybe watch some Vlogmas because I love Vlogmas, especially when it's the Ballinger family. So like yes, they're my favorite family to watch on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. And 
yeah, so if you ever see me sign YT, yeah, that's my thing for YouTube because um, I just use the letter, when I'm texting about YouTube, I just use the abbreviation YT. So, yeah. So that's just that I'm going to start using, I guess. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's it for this movie review and I hope you really liked it. If you like, if you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also if you want, you can check out my links down in the description below. The first of which is for my affiliate with Sosa Clothing. And there's a promo code through them that will get you 15% off site-wide. That promo code is... Oh, where is this team? And yes, um, I also have, linked below, I also have the Lovecraft website where you, you can go check out my, my shirts on there and there's all, I don't, yeah, so, small businesses, yay, <laughs> and then there's my Teespring store. And there's a promo code on my Teespring store that will get you $5 off through December 26, 2020. That promo code is happy Xmas. And the rest of my links are my website, my social media, my podcast, all those good little things. Thank you for watching and above all else, stay fabulous. Bye! <laughs>